Hey guys, uh, alright, so I'm back for the five things that Stevie tagged me with. Uh, I actually decided to turn on the light and do everything because I wanted to show you something that, of course, isn't going to show up. I actually dyed my hair. Uh, it's black in the back and sh it's red in the front, but of course, it's not going to show up. But anyways, it's pretty awesome. I love my, I love it. Um, I think I'm going to brighten it up next time, make it even better. But anyways, here are my five things. Uh, first off, I hate solicitors. Like, people get annoyed by them. I hate them. I cannot stand when somebody bothers my day to talk to me about something. Little kid with uh, candy bars, I can deal with that. But adults coming up to me and talking to me about stuff, I hate it. And this also includes when you're coming out of a grocery store. I almost, I like want to kick the newspaper stands and the people that are sitting there in like a wheelchair with the like veteran fun thing. And I'm just like, God. And I, I think the reason that I'm so angry about it is because we have one here that is there literally every day. Like, I, I don't even exaggerate this. It's like, oh, you know, he's there, like, Monday through Friday. No, he is Monday through Sunday and back again on Monday. And they, oh, it just bugs me because it's like you could be making more money doing something else. I know you can. So, anyways, second I have no patience, um, like, especially when I'm riding my bike, like, I will be going 80 miles per hour, just like, go, go, go faster, go, 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 you know, and it's, uh, you know, I, I've been told that I ride people, um, and I can't say if I do or not, but I, I like to just get past people, and I hate slowness, and, uh, um, yeah, I just have like a very little patience for slow people, and uh, and yeah, so that's that. <sighs> um, another small, a weird thing. Um, this was just brought up recently because I just went on a roller coaster. My mom, when I was, oh god, I want to say fifth grade, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on this. But fifth grade, we went to Magic Mountain. That's the Six Flags for California. And there's a ride out here called Revolution that has a loop in it. This was my first time <clears throat> going to an amusement park with roller coasters, uh, aside from Disneyland, but I wasn't big enough when we went to Disneyland to go on the real roller coasters. So this was my first time. And I did not want to go on this ride. And uh, my mom told me, don't worry about it. It's uh, it's not the loop is on another ride, so I bought it. I was like, oh okay, okay. So I was like, all right, fine. As long as we're doing one that's got no loop and it goes fine. So we get there, <laughs> and we get to the top of the hill, and I'm looking down, and I look at this track, and sure enough, it goes in this damn loop. I was like looking at her with the biggest eyes. I am so sure, and she just looks at me, and if. Cause she just said this and she just looked at me and said oh guess I was wrong and so we go through it and uh, you know after that I actually fell in love with roller coasters uh, so I actually have that to thanks to my mom um, I love roller coasters uh, I'm an adrenaline junkie and it just I love them so that's my story of how I got to learn how to love roller coasters I was tricked into it number four um, a lot of things in my life I pick up easily like um, like jobs especially like if I go to a job typically I have the basics of it within like 20 minutes um, they really don't have to show me the things over and over I pretty much pick it up like that I'm a visual learner uh, no 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 I'm a hands on learner honestly like if I see somebody do it I can almost reproduce it if I do it while they're telling me what to do I got it and uh, a lot of like a lot of the musical instruments like that stuff I'll pick up like that you know basics I'll have like you know um, I remember my piano teacher when I went to meet him for the first time he was like surprised on how advanced I already was for how little I had played and stuff like that so yeah that's an interesting thing about me and my fifth and final one I may have said this already but in kindergarten I already knew, in a general sense, what I wanted to do with my life. Um, 
the reason is because my teacher asked us a question. Uh, she was talking about the sun and how it was going to eventually explode and take Earth with it. And she asked us, um, do we need to worry about that? And out of everybody in the, in the class, I was the only one who said yes. It was like a group no, and I went, yes, uh, wait, what? Because I, I had already thought, well, what about our great-great-great-grandchildren and stuff like that? I would think that we not need to start worrying about it now. And uh, ever since then, I knew that uh, there was something different to me and that I was here to help people. And, and and not in the sense to just make them like feel happy and stuff like that. It was that I knew that my profession had to be to help people. So yeah, there's my five things. Um, we're supposed to tag people. Uh, honestly, I didn't even think about that until right now. I almost ended the video. Um, I'm gonna tag Sterling Turk, Bankston. Um, please forgive me if you guys have already done this. Um, what is his name now? It's uh, it was Super Bastard, but it's uh, you know what? I've got it. Super Petter, nice, awesome. Um, and let me see, Jeff Regina. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen anything from you, so get on it. All right, bye.